This is Apple's smartphone lineup for 2014, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. We're gonna take a look at the iPhone 6's inside and see what makes it tick in this teardown video. Let's go. There they all are, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, and an iPhone 5S from last year for scale, as we were fresh out of bananas. Let's put these two aside for now and take a look at what's inside the iPhone 6. First, I'm gonna open it by removing these two pendulope screws on the bottom. The screen comes off with a little help from Mr. Suction Cup. You can see how similar the iPhone 6 looks to its predecessor, the iPhone 5S, on the inside. Apart from the home button connector, which is no longer in the way right when you open the device. Rather, Apple has moved it to the top of the display with all the other cables. Very smart, since this highly reduces the risk of damaging it when opening the screen. The screen is attached with five screws and a couple of connectors. First we had one, now we have two. The case with battery, logic board and all the rest, and the display module. Down here, the home button with Touch ID. And up here, the FaceTime camera, proximity sensor and speaker. Once again up close, speaker, FaceTime camera and proximity sensor as well as ambient light sensor. That was the display part, and now for the rest of the iPhone 6. The biggest and heaviest single part by far is the battery. 1810 milliamp hours compared to 2915 in the iPhone 6 Plus, which is why the latter has a better battery life, although the screen is quite a bit larger with 5.5 inches compared to 4.7 in the iPhone 6. Still quite impressive, also compared to the 1560 milliamp hours of the iPhone 5S. The Samsung Galaxy S5 has a 2800 milliamp hour battery, by the way. With the iPhone 5S, Apple has introduced a very handy way to glue the battery to the back of the frame. This used to be cause for criticism on older models, because it was so hard to remove. Now there are these bits of tape sticking out, which work almost like those power strips used to hang posters with. Pull on them at the right angle, and they just disappear and the battery comes right out. Right, pull carefully, and there's no more trouble with glued in batteries. Plus, if you poke it too much, it might break, and that can be quite dangerous. That's why it's great to be able to remove the battery with the help of these bits of tape. You can replace these later with a bit of double-sided tape, or indeed the real power strips. There we have the iPhone 6's battery. And for a look at all the chips, the Apple A8 and the Apple M8 and the rest, go ahead and take a look at our teardown video of the iPhone 6 Plus by clicking right here.